Hey guys, welcome back to our video and today I'm going to do some peg hunting today. So I am at SM Lanang Premier and hmm, as you can see, it's pretty decent by the way. Um, I can see a lot of fantasy cars and of course some of the cars that I've already bought. So I'm going to search some by nines that I haven't have yet. So... This will be tricky this time. Gonna search to the sides. You can see the 2017 Camaro CLT from the now series in blue, which is recolored version and Now since I cannot find anything here by the way guys, I'm gonna search to this side by the way and Wait a minute This is brand new to me Look the McLaren F1 GTR from the retro racers so basically they managed to release some 2022 main lines in here so it's been a while since they restock actually here guys so instead some of the rare cars actually placed in a pack with magazines just like that one i should research on those just in case if i find something interesting as you can see there are also the tesla cyber truck which is the uh, 2022 release and another fantasy car by the way guys and well i think that was it so that's my find for today i'm gonna search more at the back And look, the Cadillac ATS-V and the Volkswagen Beetle. So that is also the new releases so far in the 2022 mainline. And that's the only thing I can find, by the way, guys. So I'm going to buy that McLaren F1 GTR alongside the, the other ones, by the way. Um... No, it's pretty quite rare to see some new models packed with the magazine. It's my first time seeing it, by the way, guys. So I'm going to buy that one and I'm going to search to the other brands as well. There's nothing new actually here. Um, look, you can see the Ford Mustang in blue. And look, the 71 Porsche 914. Mm, there's nothing interesting in Matchbox, by the way, guys. So I'm gonna search through the other side. Um, oh, wait. So I managed to, f to see this pack, by the way, still. Had yet been sold, maybe people didn't want to buy it. So there's the Mazda Cosmo Sport. And I didn't see the R32 until now when they were stuck a few weeks ago. Nothing at the back by the way, so yeah. So I'm gonna to you know buy that. McLaren F1 GTR. So I'm going to back in a sec, by the way, guys, once I found something interesting. Alright, so I forgot to search at this portion of the pegs. So they managed to release the 2022 A case. So let's go ahead and search through at the back. 
and look the BMW race car from the Retro Racers which is the regular but sadly not a super treasant quite unlucky by the way since I haven't found a super treasant yet and look the 1970 Pontiac Firebird from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage which is the new model by the way and look the 57 Chevy from the Chevy Bel Air which is the new model also guys and look the Pixel Shaker from the Hot Wheels Pridons which is the regular trash hunt for the 2022 AKs and that's all I can find guys and let's go ahead and start the unboxing all right so we're gonna unbox this one um because it could un it contains the magazine actually as you can see so let's go ahead and unbox this one guys all right here you go there's the magazine mm. Nothing interesting here by the magazine. It's actually an old magazine here, by the way, guys. This one is made in 2019, by the way. So, let's go ahead and start unboxing the cars inside the pack. Try to take them out. There is the Jaguar XC SV Project 8 from the Factory Fresh. As you can see, in a solid orange body, blackout wheels, and you can see at the back there's tempos at the back there's the jaguar logo on top and the front fit you can see the headlights and of course the jaguar logo over here but of all um i have this casting before but with different colors but i hope they will put some designs some decos on the side but i really like this Jaguar casting oh, by the way and I hope they manage to release new Jaguar castings with designs and different colors as well now this one right here is the McLaren F1 GTR from the Retro Racers now I'm really happy that I was able to find this one and I never had the McLaren F1 GTR in the mainland version. I did manage to have one in the 5 pack, but now I finally have it in the mainland version. As you can see, in a solid turquoise and of course red wheels. And wait, I'm gonna make it focus by the way, guys. Okay, there you go. You can see there's the McLaren over here, there's the number 3, there's the Atlas logo, and of course some red and some blue details. There's also an F1 logo over here, and on front of it you can see the headlights, and I really love the, the design on the hood and the McLaren logo over here. But no details at the back, but I hope that they will put the details at the back once they release some recolors but overall I'm really happy that I was able to find this one and I really love this McLaren F1 GTR now this one right here is the 1968 Dodge Dart from the Hot Wheels art cars
Well, to be honest, I forgot to record this one where I found this one, by the way. So sorry about that because I was actually in a hurry, by the way, guys. And yeah, look at this touch, by the way, guys. I really love the design of this car. It's got these, you know, different wheel, wheel combinations. There is also some, the graphics are really eye-catching by the way it's got this Atmos logo there's the touch you know with the stars with some yellow dots and look there's also the Dodge logo and you know some different designs and of course the letter U I don't know why they put letter U but I don't know how it's supposed to be formed well collecting all of the Hot Wheels art cars so and look at the other side it says dart man that was amazing like I really love this design I really you know pump up with this one by the way guys so anyway I really love this dodge dart it's also a new casting by the way guys and I we love this design so far. Now this one right here is the 1970 Pontiac Firebird from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage. As you can see in solid white body and of course with silver rim wheels. And it is also the Legend Store winner by the way guys for those of you who don't know. And as you can see, there's the sponsors on this side. Wait, the camera's out of focus. Come on. Okay, there you go. And on front of it, there's also some gray painting on the front side. And of course, the exposed engine. You can see the engine over here, by the way, guys. And at the other side. And look at the details at the back. It's pretty interesting. You can see the Pontiac logo and of course the Hot Wheels Legends over here and of course the tail lights pretty interesting and overall I really love this new casting of the Pontiac Firebird but I hope to manage to see these ones with different colors as well Now this one right here is the 1970 BMW 3.0 CSL race car from the Retro Racers which is the regular. If you find a super treasured variation of this one, it's actually a Spectre Flame Gold and of course the treasured logo is located at the side of the car and of course real rubber tires. As you can see in a solid yellow body and of course with silver lip wheels and you can see there is the Castro, Blitzen and of course you know some black and some red design there's the Hot Wheels number 73 over here and at the back there's also a Castro sponsor on each side and of course the, the tiny BMW logo over here and of course you know the painted hood with the number 73 over here and no work at the back but overall I really love this BMW casting but I hope I managed to find this super threshold variation last but not the least we have the pixel shaker from the Hot Wheels Brydons and it is a regular treasure hunt Alright, so I managed to cut it clean using a cutter. And there's also a sp special feature over here at the back. You can put a minifigure or attach a minifigure actually, guys. So yeah, let me show you this pixel shaker. So as you can see, it's a solid green body. And of course, with white wheels. And you can see there's also a black restaurant logo on this bottom side over here. And of course, with the pixel flames and in front of it you can see the 
pipe exhaust on front and of course there's also a portion of here where you can you can put the minifigure over here and also at the back where you can attach also here by the way guys which is an interesting feature and But overall, um, I really love this fantacast, fa fantasy casting of this pixel pixel shaker. Um, I managed to find the regular trash of this one, and I was really happy that I was able to find this one. Well, that was it for today's video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video, and also leave a comment below as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and turn notification bell of course that won't miss any uploads here in this channel and I will see you all in the next video. It's your Franco Place here and peace out.